The interview we did today, the cop used to have on his, like he had this um, silver metal clipboard thing that yeah. closed up, you no. know, and on it he had like horribly racist stickers, you know, stickers of, of Muslims with nasty stuff yeah. written across it. And, and Mexicans. And we carry around to work all day. Yeah. And he's out like on the on the street. He was the CHP officer. He's out there writing tickets out of that book. That's disgusting. So, but they almost all of them are like this. Like almost yeah. all of them have this like incredibly hateful whole persona. Yeah. And the crazy thing about it, even even if you're like Caucasian or African American, there's a self perpetuating hate amongst minorities, even if they are a minority themselves. Have you noticed yeah. that? Well, you know, we, we end up talking to a lot of different cops who are black, and then they talk about, like, oh, well, in this environment, they often have to be badder than bad. And so in order to survive as a minority police officer or a woman police officer, they end up, like, you know, perpetuating these cultural things within the police department that are just not They're bad. victims themselves. Yeah, but they have to be, <laughs> what, they have to be like, what, worse. They're being conditioned to be victims themselves because actually there's a bigger abuser on them mm -hmm. and they, they become stressed out and they take their abuse and go to the net, the lesser uh, fish in the sea, you totally. know, so that's what happens. But, um, yeah, or they're totally isolated or, you know, you can't write anybody out and it's just like, and it's pick a color and we all know what the color is yeah. blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I'm not blue. I'm not black. I'm blue. Yeah. Wait, somebody said that. That's what it's like. Yeah, it's blue. And, it's, but that's but that came from police training and the conditioning, and so it's and the, and they self select. I mean, the police agencies select. I can't tell you how many of these interviews the guy failed the psychological evaluation before he was made a police officer, and they still hired him. quite know how to figure it out is there's always this thing of oh she's lying she's lying she's lying and I keep saying to myself like how many times do these women lie this is like such a brutally disempowering thing to tell your truth and people say like nonsense to you about you're not telling the truth like so there's this cultural thing about oh women are crazy women are making it up women are exaggerating women just want the kids yeah, women you know and I'm like how many times have I run into people who are like out of their minds making this shit up because you would not choose to Put yourself in that position if you're going to be so be, be down, potentially lose your kids, be completely isolated from your community, you know. So I just want to, I want to understand more about why that has so much resonance in the culture. Mm -hmm. Like why that lie, which is a predominant lie. Like there are the occasional things that the media blows up that makes it real. Yeah. Like, oh, women lie on the guy. But reality, women do not lie on guys. Like, you know, yeah. maybe 99 out of 100. Try to try it if you fall.